All right, so which ions are identical? This one. Okay. Yeah, two CLs. Okay, what do we call these ions? Spectator ions, okay. We can cancel them out, and then whatever we're left with, that's going to be your net ionic equation. And here's a little trick to knowing that you did the net ionic equation correctly. The ions that you have on the reactant side, these should combine to give you the product that you made. If they don't, something's wrong. Does that make sense? Okay. I left out the AQs and the complete ionic equation just because I didn't have any room. Um, but are we good with this? Okay. All right. So let me talk about hard water and then you guys can work on that worksheet. Okay. Yeah. Um, on the worksheet, do you want us to put the... The AQs? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Okay. Let's go to the next page. Do we all have this? Okay. On the next page... They talk about hard water, and that's because there's ions that are present um, in water that can combine to make um, a solid or precipitate. So hard water is referring to having calcium, magnesium, or iron two ions in water at a pretty high concentration. If we don't have those ions present, they call it soft water. Okay, so sometimes um, in the soil, in different parts of the world, they have calcium carbonate, which is limestone or dolomite. And what happens is carbon dioxide in the air, which is here, when this is exposed to things like limestone in soil, what happens is it produces calcium ions and then the water that's exposed to that soil from rain or whatever is going to get these calcium ions in it. So these calcium ions end up in the water supply, okay? And that's a big issue because when it's in the water supply, it comes into your house. And then when you heat it, the carbon dioxide um, leaves as a gas, but it ends up forming this calcium carbonate scale in um, the pipes or heaters or kettles or boilers. And then it lowers the heating system's efficiency, and then sometimes it's going to block water pipes. So calcium carbonate is a precipitate. It's known as um, like a scale that forms. Also, the soap that you use, that you use, soap reacts with the calcium or the magnesium ions that are in hard water. And you can get soap scum, like you can get like that ring in a bathtub. Um, also, it's gonna get on your clothes. Some laundry detergents do a really good job of sort of softening the water to help prevent scum from um, accumulating on your clothes. It also has an effect on the shampoo that you use. So if you wash your hair with hard water, you're going to notice that you're probably going to use a lot more shampoo than um, you would normally because you can't get it to lather. And then um, some water treatment plants will add things to try and precipitate out the calcium and magnesium ions. Um, if you have a water softener at your house, that also can be used. And that's the end. We're done. Okay? So if you have any questions,